I'm Tony from Bonner's Piano Center, and this is my demonstration of the brand new Roland GP609 Digital Grand Piano. You can come and see and try the GP609 in our new Milton Keynes showroom, which is located just off of the M1 motorway here in the UK. And you can compare it with other models uh, from Roland. Of course, you have the GP607 and also Yamaha. They make two digital grand pianos, the CLP665 and the CLP695GP. We also stock the Yamaha N3X Avant Grand. So if you come to our Milton Keynes store, you can see a great range of digital grands just to make sure you're making the right decision when you're purchasing a new piano. So as you heard in the intro to this movie, the GP609 has a really beautiful piano sound. But what's equally as important when choosing a digital piano is actually the keyboard feel as well. Now, the GP609 uses Roland's PHA50 hybrid keyboard action. And what that means is that it, it, the keys are actually made of a, a combination of both natural wood and synthetic materials as well. So you've got the durability of the synthetic materials and the plastic, and that's in the core of the key. But on the outside of the key, you actually have wood, and that gives you the feel of a traditional piano keyboard. So you've got the best of both worlds. And I must say that it does feel really very, very nice to play. So let's just take a listen to the piano sound in a bit more detail. I was using the concert grand piano sound in the intro. Let's just have another listen to it played in a different style and just listen to the power that you get from this piano sound. So I hope you'll agree that is a particularly good piano sound and it's good for both delicate, quiet passages as well as the more powerful pieces too. Now Roland used a technology called supernatural modelling to create the piano sound here and what that means is that the piano sound is being created in real time whilst you're playing and it varies on, on how you're playing so it kind of it, it adapts and reacts to how you're playing the piano to give you the most natural response and performance from a digital instrument. You really do need to have a play yourself to appreciate how it, it sounds and how, the, how it engages you as a player, but I must say it's a really great playing experience. So in addition to the concert piano sounds, there's a, there's a selection of different piano sounds in here. So I'm gonna move on to the ballad piano sound, and this is a slightly mellower piano sound. And what I've done here is I've actually layered it with the symphonic strings. So you've got the sound of the orchestra behind you whilst you're playing uh, a nice ballad. So take a listen to this. So I'd just like to draw your attention to the styling of the Roland GP609. Roland have actually decided to go a little bit away from what other manufacturers have done, which is where they try and make the digital grands as small as possible. This particular instrument is actually just under five foot, which is about 150 centimeters from the front to the very back of the instrument. And that's actually very similar to the smallest grand pianos that you'll find on the market nowadays. And I'm talking about acoustic grands there. So if you're looking for an instrument 
that looks like a grand piano and has the presence in your room of a grand piano, but gives you the benefits of a digital piano, which means, of course, you don't need to tune it. Um, you can plug headphones in for silent practice. You've got things like metronome and recording features and alternative sounds. If you want all of those things, but from an instrument that looks like a grand piano, then the GP609 has been made especially for you. So now we're going to take a look at two of the other piano sounds. First of all, this is the mellow piano sound, which is particularly nice for classical music. And in contrast to the mellow piano sound, there's a really nice bright piano sound. So if you're into your rhythm and blues or your rock and roll or your boogie woogie playing, then the bright piano is the ideal piano for that style of music. So for many years now, Roland have been at the forefront of technology in their pianos, and you'll see here I have an iPad, and this connects to the GP609 via Bluetooth, um, so it's completely wireless, but it communicates with the GP609, and it unlocks additional features. If you use Roland's Piano Partner 2 app, which I have downloaded here, then this gives you access to all the features that are in the piano anyway, and it acts as a touchscreen for the piano. So if I just place it on the music desk there, I can use it as a remote controller for the piano, which means that you can get to all the functions that you would usually get to through the piano's own menu system on the little screen here, but through your user interface of the iPad, which just makes it a bit easier and more intuitive. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the user interface on the front of the GP609. You have a button for most functions, but we're all used to touchscreens nowadays, and having a nice large touchscreen there does make getting to the things you use all the time very, very quick to do. So as well as being a great user interface for the GP609, the Roland Piano Partner 2 app also gives you access to features which you won't find on the control panel of the piano. So for instance, there are 21 drum rhythms built into the Piano Partner 2 app. Each one has two variations. It will also give you an automatic band backing, so you get like a bass player and uh, guitarists and uh, brass players and things which will come in and follow what you're doing on the keyboard, or you can just use it as a basic drum machine as well. As well as the drum rhythms, you've got um, tuition features built into the app as well. Um, and for youngsters, the flashcards is great because it's a great way of um, helping with musical knowledge and musical theory. So it gives you a score and it, it will ask you questions based on um, some cards which it shows you on the screen. And it's just good fun um, and it makes the uh, learning the piano a bit more engaging for youngsters. Um, what's also very good is that you have built into the piano lots and lots of different tunes and songs and some of them are for you to play along with, some are just exercises um, and for instance it, will, it gives you backing tracks to play your scales along with so rather than just playing your scales normally with no backing and it's just uh, can be quite laborious learning scales even though it's very very important when you're learning piano. Um, the GP609, when used with the app, will give you um, backing tracks to play along with. One of my favourite features of the Piano Partner 2 app 
is the fact that you can bring up the musical score for a lot of the tunes which are built into the piano. So the operating system on the iPad gives you access to control lots of different tunes which are built into the piano. You can turn off the right hand, you can turn off the left hand and play along with them. But what I really like is that it brings the score up on the screen. Roland called this Digi Score, um, and it first featured in some of their pianos a long, long time ago, but just on the screen of the piano. They've now brought this into the app as well, and you can follow the music on the screen that's built into the piano, and you can um, add more songs to via um, a USB stick. So if you download songs from the internet, you can play along with those as well. Um, so all in all, the uh, Roland Piano Partner 2 app actually unlocks lots of new features and I think it's well worth investing in a tablet computer if you haven't got one to go with your new piano uh, because Roland have made it so worthwhile having access to this app. And of course, there are lots and lots of other apps available by third parties. And something that I like to do is actually to just go onto a video site such as YouTube, and you can find lots of things to play along with on YouTube as well. So just search for backing tracks or music minus one on YouTube, and you'll find lots of things that you can play along with. And of course, the sound from your iPad or your Android device will come through the uh, speakers of the piano using the Bluetooth system. So all in all, it's well worth investing in a, a tablet to go with your new Roland digital piano. So that brings me to the end of my fairly quick demonstration of the GP609. This piano does have a lot to offer, but I just wanted to really show you the most important parts, which is of course the sound of the piano, the feel of the keys, and also the additional features that you can get to when you use the Roland Piano Partner 2 app. Like I've said already, it's well worth coming into our store in Milton Keynes because you can compare this with lots of other digital grand pianos and also acoustic grand pianos as well. So if you are thinking of investing in a new instrument, then Bonners is definitely the place to come because you get the choice of so many different instruments and different types of instruments under one roof. So thank you very much for watching this movie. I hope it's been useful to you. Um, please feel free to get in touch if you're interested in purchasing a piano or you'd like to know a little bit more about which is the right instrument for yourself. We also take part exchange as well. So if you already have a piano, it doesn't matter whether it's digital or acoustic, then get in contact with us and uh, we will be able to give you a valuation for part exchange as well. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in another one of my piano demonstration movies.